Hi everybody, in this video we're going to learn how to deploy an Elastic Container Service or ECS cluster in AWS using CloudFormation. Now, first things first, let's go ahead and take a look at this code and you can find it under the admin turn DevOps org, which is my org slash env0k8s. And if we go ahead and if we take a look at that code here, we can see here that we're creating the ECS cluster, we're giving it a specific name, we're also setting up a log group and an execution role for IIM, along with ensuring that that role has the proper policies. So let's go ahead and go over to env0, and I'm in this project called ECS CloudFormation. I'm gonna click Create New Environment. I'm gonna choose VCS so I can pull my code from GitHub. I'm gonna click CloudFormation. I'm gonna click Next. I'll go ahead and choose GitHub. Then I will choose my repository here. The branch is going to be main. We can go ahead and confirm where the CloudFormation code is. So it's under the env CloudFormation directory. Go ahead and literally just copy that. Paste it in. Now for the CloudFormation template file name, we're going to have to specify the capabilities for IIM to be approved because whenever you're creating IIM roles with CloudFormation, it needs you to specify to CloudFormation that you're okay with it. You're pretty much just giving it like an approval. So I'll go ahead and I'll paste that in here and this is exactly what it's gonna look like. So we're gonna specify our YAML file, which is in our GitHub repo, and then we're gonna specify this flag. And by the way, if you are using the AWS CLI to deploy your CloudFormation template, you would have to do the same thing. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click next. And then right here, you see that I have a variable and this is to specify my region. So you can go ahead and you can add that in. If you don't have that, ensure that it's an environment variable. Click next, and then you can give this a name, ECS test, and click done. All right, so we'll go ahead and we'll wait for our deployment to begin. And we'll give it a few minutes to run here. Now notice here that it does specifically show that we are passing in our ECS.yaml and our capabilities for the IAM parameter. We'll go ahead and we'll prove that. And then we'll give it a few minutes for the CloudFormation template to actually deploy. All right, and as you can see, that deployment was successful. So I'm gonna go over to the AWS Management Console here. I'm gonna go to CloudFormation, click on that. And we can see the stack right here, along with if I go to ECS, our cluster here exists. Thank <laughs> you.